Hello. Once again, it's Jer, back again. I think the last time I sat in front of the camera here at the radio room at the Demet compound uh, was about a year ago I said I was going to be back. And I begged and pleaded and sniveled for subscribers. I need more subscribers because ever since YouTube did away with the categories... See, the categories were very good because the categories allowed us to compete against people doing the same kind of videos, you know, politics, RVs, mother's history. And the minute they stopped that, some clown, I hate to say something like clown about somebody on YouTube, lest all my videos be ripped away. I hate it when that happens. Anyway, probably drinking a Slurpee in some coffee house, decided we don't need those categories anymore. So that means we had to compete with everybody. Well, everybody's a billion people or something. And how is a person old like me going to compete against anybody? I went into that America's Talent to try to get on that, and they asked this stupid question. Why do they think they, why, why did they think I came in there? They said, what is your talent? I said, I don't know, you're putting this thing together. What talent do I have? Huh. Well, you didn't get past the front door. Blast it. I'm a brilliant talent. I just haven't really honed in on what the talent is. Well, since I'm saying I'm making my 15th comeback in 20 years, I thought maybe I should give you a little of the backstory. And seriously, there are those who said they would pray for me. And of course, there were those that said praying for Demet won't do any good. He's one of those liberal commies. I actually think, I'm quoting a friend of mine, I actually think that he's a, a socialist. I'm not a socialist. Wait, I am a socialist. Yes, I'm a socialist. I like Hillary Clinton. I like Bernie Sanders. I don't like Donald Trump. But I don't want to run off people who've just stumbled across the video. Even though I've been fired by most radio stations in the country, you know, the ones with towers and things, get in there 50,000 watts, and they love me. And then I say something that I regret, but I don't. Like, I think Trump sucks. Can we say that? Yeah. Well, I said it. You can delete it. Uh, let's forget that. Let's get right down to it. Anyway, people did pray. And the cancer. By the way, I have medical problems this long. I mean, it just goes on. Even social phobia. Would you believe that one? It's there. And emphysema. But not bad. But enough to get sympathy. I even have one of those breathalyzer things. Oh, did I mention a wheelchair? Yeah. Yep, I didn't see anyone on America's Got Talent with a wheelchair. Give that some thought. Anyway, Let's get right down to it. I want to thank everybody because even though Tom Brokaw and I both share that same disease, multiple myeloma, Tom seems to have done a lot better than me. He was even on uh, the, one of the last Letterman shows. And, uh, you know, medical science is making great strides. Here goes Nimit off the, off the path. I want to tell that clerk, the old battle axe in Louisiana, Tennessee, or was it Medford, Oregon? I don't know, but she's a clerk. If I say the, the county clerk, you all knew who I am talking about, don't you? Of course you do. That county clerk lady brings me to tears. Uh, she's really teaming me off, and I would like to do a video about that, but I shan't today because as professional as I am, I can't come up with words that can be put on the Internet. And you know they've got to be bad words if I can't even put them on the Internet.
But stay with me in the videos because I'm going to give it to her with both barrels. I'm going to refer to people like Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I'm not going to refer a lot to the Old Testament. Just something about that book that frustrates me, always has, simply because it's the Old Testament. Simply because in the Jewish synagogue, when our beloved Lord was crucified and died at the moment of his death, this giant curtain from top to bottom ripped. Who could have done that? Rather strange sign. About like the same sign when that Pope, before this one, when he retired. <laughs> Popes aren't supposed to do that, you know. The Vatican, St. Peter's Cathedral, the, the big official cathedral of the Pope, coincidentally was hit, hit three times, or was it two? I don't know, with lightning. Might be a sign, perhaps. Anyway, I did get off the track, didn't I? Hmm. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Let's get back on the track. The amazing thing here is I have just forgot what I was going to say. I hope there's a pause so we can edit. Can you tell that was edited? Oh, I'm so skilled. I have talent. Why doesn't America's talent see that? Blast it. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> My mind sick cry. Intellectual thoughts coming so many at one time, and a message from the Sorns in the Outer Galactic Perimetry, that's coming too. All right, get back on the road, dammit. The cancer, the prayer. Remember the people prayed? The right wing got all upset. They said it's not going to do any good. Well, mumbly poo to you, because the cancer, after $130,000 worth of chemo, the cancer has gone to what they call maintenance. And that means they're going to slowly watch it, but it's down in the normal range where a normal person is without the cancer. Problems with these cancers is they come back. But I was supposed to die in September, and I'm still here. And I have a, a new vigor. And I don't know, I can't say for sure, 100,000? And thirty thir what a hundred I can't even say the number hundred and thirty thousand dollars or uh, was it those prayers people wishing me well well I think it was the prayer besides that I have insurance so that helped me there so I'm in better shape I'm feeling better uh, the residual in this is I really can't walk my bones are intensely fragile and all I have to do is look at a car driving by and I fall down so my landings have not been overly good I'll just tell you one quick example of one of Jer's falling down incidents and why he uses a wheelchair now it was it was a garage sale that my friend was having my friend is my uh, caretaker he and his wife stay with me a few days every week and help me when I fall down and things like that. We're sitting on the porch and you got to envision my porch is probably three feet from the walkway which is made of concrete cement and I had tied my loving and dear 120 pound pit bull Emma who I must say is the sweetest dog I have ever had. Of all the dogs, I've had many love dogs, but Emma is a true joy, gentle as she can be, and loving. And uh, she's my housemate, and that's who I hang out with. Oh! Sorry. Just something that happens when you hang out with a dog. I feel bad. You've got to act professional, Emma. But I have Emma tied to the chair and she sees a yellow lab big flowing blonde hair and Emma goes berserk she wants to rush across the street and see the dog and she takes off leash tied to chair Jer goes flying like Superman landing on the concrete 
another guy that was on the porch, he flew off. Didn't get damaged like I did. Anyway, three broken ribs and a broken collarbone and five days in the hospital. How do we get off on that story? Is this enough sympathy to make you subscribe if you just stumbled across this video? I wanted to do one thing on RVs because I want to put it in the RV category because I'm an RVer, you know, big RV. My uh, caretaker, Casey, he, for some reason, even he must be from California, he decided that what he was going to do was fix a leak was over the passenger seat in the front of the RV. I think it has something to do with a lake that's forming on top of the RV. And we go out of the driveway, and who's ever sitting in the passenger seat, they get drenched. I found this very funny and amusing. Uh, he did not. So he's up and tore the entire front of the RV. I almost had a heart attack when I walked in there and saw it. Out, so we could get to the roof and fix the leak. Now we're ready to drive the RV in a tsunami. Anyway, I don't want this to go on and on forever. I just wanted to say I was back, and uh, I've got a lot to say, and I'm going to try to do more videos. So hopefully I can motivate a few of you to subscribe. I know, so I left you alone for a year. You know I love you. Yeah, yeah, I really do. May lightning strike if I tell a lie. Wait a minute. I better say, if you will excuse me before the bolt hits the house.